You're in 4K, by the way. Yeah. You're in 4K. What's that? <laughs> you don't even know, dude. <laughs> so you're probably considering installing Zero 3D fairing lighted vent trim, black or chrome, on your Harley Davidson motorcycle with a Batwing fairing. We're gonna show you how. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawbuddingbiker.com. Thank you for checking back in. So this is a very nice addition to your Hardy Davidson motorcycle with a bat wing fairing, uh, basically. We all know there's a vent uh, in 14 and newer Hardy Davidson motorcycles is what this product's gonna be for because they put the vent in the front of the fairing to minimize head buffeting. By the way, this vent, uh, lighted vent trim does not affect that vent. It actually keeps it open just fine uh, so you won't lose anything there. Um, there's a lighted version and an unlighted version. In this video we're going to install the lighted version. Uh, basically just has a very small LED strip that runs through it but it does go right over that vent. Uh, we do stick it on. It is plug and play. We're going to show you how to do that all of course but uh, it's a very very nice look um, to the bike especially at night uh, when it's lit up. And with that said what do you say we get this lighted fairing vent trim installed? All right, to remove this fairing, we're gonna start Torx 27 to remove the windshield bolts. There's three of them. He's just backing the side one all the way out. You can see he's already backed that side one out over there. He's leaving the center one in, he's just loosening it. That way your whole fairing will just kind of hang on it. On it. The very end, we'll take that one out. Now we'll move to the inside of the fairing. All right, on the inside of your fairing, both sides, there's two bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom, Torx 27. And that's what he started working on that top one. He's gonna finish, back it all the way out. Just remember when you put it back together, the top one is longer than the bottom one does make a difference. He's got the top one backed out. He'll move down and do the bottom one. And same thing on the other side. All right, and he's got the two, all the four inside ones off. He left that last one just so the fairing doesn't fall. He's loosening it. You can pop the windshield right out of there. All right, and he's just gonna back that uh, one out and this is gonna release the whole fairing. You can put a towel on your front fender so you can lay it on it. Okay, he's got that out. He'll back it out and he's supporting the fairing now. And that releases his fairing. You can rest it on the fender. Of course, we have a rag there so we can unplug the headlight. All right, and he's just unplugging the headlight in there. We are running a Ciro 3D Vision X available in our store. I've done a comparison video on this channel. Make sure you check it out. It's super bright, way cheaper than the Daymaker, better than the Daymaker in our opinion. And that's what he's unplugging there. Okay, we've got our Ciro lighted vent trim here. And uh, we got to line this up. There is some play in here, and you can see he's using the stock vent there making sure he has equal distance on each side and then he'll kind of slide it up into place. You really want to make sure that's centered. And then at each point, he's just putting some tape and he's marking the point there. He'll move his left hand so we can see that point there. There you go. So that way we know right where that point goes and then he's going to do the same in both corners with just some, any kind of tape's fine. That way when we take the sticky backing off, you only get one shot. You can plop it right down, make sure it's uh, all centered. And with some Ammonia-based cleaner, Windex in this case. You gotta make sure and get all the grease and grime off so that that sticky tape really sticks to the surface. And he's just taking the rubber band off, getting access to those wires. Now you wanna take your fingernail and actually work before you take the backing off and it kinda activates the sticky tape so he's just working it with his fingernail. All right, now he's just peeling the backing off. If you appreciate this channel, all the videos that we put out, doesn't come without a cost. A lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears behind the scenes. Guys, you can support us. We would love to have you as a patron member. You basically can sign up to pledge a certain amount per piece of content. No risk to you because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits you get, such as t-shirts and stickers. You can get into our private Facebook group. That thing's blowing up up to access to our premium videos up on request. Link in the description below. Check it out. We'd love to have you join the biker revolution. All right. He's ready to stick it on. Of course, we've got it all marked with the tape. Before he sticks it down, I'll get all those points lined up right where he has the tape. And once he's comfortable, he'll press down. And then you'll want to just put even pressure across this thing, all parts of it, for 30 seconds to a minute just to make sure it's stuck on there really good. And of course, we made sure and ran our wire. We didn't pinch it in between. We ran it right through the back of the vent. So we're looking at the inside of the fairing up in the upper right-hand corner. You want to look for your accessory powered plug. That's stock OEM. Now. If you were just running the lighted trim vent, you could plug directly into that. We have multiple accessories, so your lighted trim vent comes with a Y splitter, so you can take it from one, and you just plug it in and it splits it into two, because we are also going to run the lighted Ciro 3D headlight bezel. So you're gonna plug it in, 
There we go, make sure it clicks and you can see it's split it into two. Now we can not only run the lighted vent trim, we can run the uh, Ciro 3D lighted headlight bezel, which you'll definitely want to check out that product in our store. And we did an install video for that too. And if you appreciate all the free videos we put out, everything we do for the biker community, you can support us. You can shop for Ciro 3D products right in the Law Abiding Biker store. Link in the description below. So he's finding his lighted trim vent cord there. And of course, he'll plug it to one side of the adapter there. There we go. Now when we turn the ignition on, the lighted vent will light. All right, we're putting the bat wing fairing back on. All the wires are managed. There's just some tabs on the bottom. Make sure you always line the bottom up first, and then you just rock the top back into place. You can kind of you see how he's just kind of adjusting it around. There we go. He's got it started there. He's just going to... His center bolt is always just going to hand start that, just kind of the so the fairing doesn't fall back off. Don't tighten anything down until we get all the bolts in. Makes it easier to line all the holes up. All right, don't forget both sides, two bolts, one bottom, one top. Don't forget your longer one goes in the top and your shorter one goes in the bottom. Otherwise, you could poke through the front of your fairing. So make sure you get those right. All right, he just got his Torx T27 wrench. And he's just getting everything started right now. We'll actually line up the right side before we actually tighten these all the way down. All right, he go, went and snug down the right side. He's just coming back over here with his T27 and he'll snug these down. These are just tight and a barely a quarter turn, guys. These will strip out really easy. So just, just a little bit snug is fine. All right, he's just popping his windshield into place, getting everything lined up. All right, and he's got them all finger started and now you can just go around. And with a T27, we're just gonna barely get them snug. A lot of guys strip these out, so just barely snug. Your windshield will be just fine. Make sure and subscribe to this channel. Every time that subscribe button is hit, another biker joins the revolution. Thumbs up, like it, share it with all your biker friends. I hope you're well, and I definitely hope you are out there getting some riding in. What you looking for? These nuts. <laughs> These nuts. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button already. I'm not going away till you hit it. Join the biker revolution. Everybody's doing it.